It's been a long time since we've seen Andy. Yeah, it has. You miss him? Yeah, but only because it's been tiring looking for new co-anchors every week. Hannah, Kiana, can y'all go record in the loft? Yeah, this week's book is Adventures of... What is that? Where have you been? Away. My friend. Is there a closet in the loft? Yeah. Salutations, students. Welcome to another day with us. Andy. And Hannah. With your Tiger, Tiger News, News Now. now. At the top of our news, community service hours are due today at 4 o'clock. So turn them in or forever hold your peace. TSA will continue to meet on Tuesdays until we go to the state competition in April. All state entries need to be finalized and documented, completed before April 11th. See Ms. Lobb if you have any questions. Irving High School, a new challenge approaches. Who will be the next Alejandro Ramirez or Maurice Ashley? Those are famous chess players for you who don't know. Irving High's Chess Club will be holding a chess tournament to find out. The tournament will be held after spring break. Not a member? Join up to play. Please see Mr. Hauser in room 573 for details. The March for Respect is an awesome event designed to promote respect, awareness, and acceptance for people with intellectual disabilities. The event is March 26, 2016 in Dallas. The Irving ISD Special Olympics has registered for a team for the event, and we are looking for volunteers to join us for the one-mile walk. Families and pets are also welcome and encouraged to walk and join our team, and the team that has the most participants will receive a $1,000 donation. Participation is free, and if you would like a t-shirt, the cost is $1,350. Also, our Special Olympic basketball team will be participating in the state competition. Please help supporting them by buying a shirt for $12, and they will be offered in six colors. It's time for another edition of College Corner with Gabby to recognize all of our seniors' accomplishments. Roll the clip. Good morning, Tigers, and welcome back to the College Corner with Gabby. Seniors, we have 57 school days left until graduation. Make them count. Next up, I would like to recognize the following seniors for their college acceptances. The first person I would like to congratulate this week is Charlie Abrego on his acceptance to A&M and College Station. Congratulations to a Angel Williams on her acceptances to Texas State and Stephen F. Austin. I would, like, I would like to recognize Daniela Rodriguez on her acceptance to UTA. The next person I want to talk about is Bridget Pinillos on her acceptance to Tyler Junior College. Congratulations to Cedric Hewitt on his acceptances to Stephen F. Austin and Prairie View A&M University. We also have Giselle Hernandez on her acceptance to Tarleton State University. The next person I'd like to congratulate is Carla Ramirez on her acceptances to Colorado Christian University and Sam Houston State University. I would like to recognize Jose Grimaldo on his acceptance to UTA. The last person I'd like to congratulate is Matthew Union on his acceptances to Texas State, Columbia College Chicago, and Pace University. Each week we'll be spotlighting a new group of seniors for their college acceptances. Seniors, remember as you get your acceptance letters to go to Miss Spears. That's all the college news I have for you today. Tune in next week for another episode of College Corner. Want to immortalize your name at Irving High School for all eternity? Then buy an engraved brick in the foyer during lunch. Here are the prizes for the engraved bricks. $50 for the standard engraved brick and 100 for the 12 by 12 brick. If you have more questions, talk to Miss Keith. We, are, we'll, we will be walking on the wild side on Saturday, March 5th, 2016 from 3 to 5 p.m. at Barbara Cardwell Career Prep. That's right, the students of cosmetology will be hosting a hair show on the campus at Barbara Cardwell. The cost is $5, and we hope to see all Irving students and staff there. Come out and join us for the great entertainment, fun times, and a chance to see the creativity of the junior and senior cosmetology students. We even have a few surprises in store for you, so you don't want to miss out. Let's look at those attendance reports, so let's head over to Miss Intendi. 
Good afternoon, Irving High School, and welcome back to the attendance report with Miss Attendee. I'm Alicia Reyes, and now for last week's attendance report. Ninth graders, 92.61%. Tenth graders, 93.33%. Eleventh graders, 91.95%. And twelfth graders, 90.18%. Remember, if you want to be exempt from your semester two exams, you cannot miss more than two classes. That's all the attendance report I have for you today. Thank you and have a great day, Tigers. Seniors, send in baby pictures and any pictures with seniors if you want to be in the senior breakfast video. Be sure you have your name in the email and email it to ihssenior16 at gmail.com. Late breaking news. <laughs> Yay, please put your hands together and celebrate the February Teacher of the Month and Professional of the Month. The Teacher of the Month is Mr. Newman. <laughs> and the Paraprofessional of the Month is Miss Marshall. <laughs> <clears throat> we have the results of the KIFR essay contest for the fourth six weeks. Winning third place is ninth grader Audrey Sierra for the essay Future Goals. And second place goes to ninth grader Omar Yunez for his essay Old Glory. And finally, first place goes to KRV's own Nicholas Wanjohi, who will be receiving an iPad. If you want to be like Nick and the other winners, enter the contest for this six weeks. Woo! Go, Nick! Yay! Spring break is tomorrow! Yay! Woo! Holla! I'm going to go relax and enjoy my time off. Me too. We'll see you next Friday, Tigers. Now on to ISBN. Bye! Bye. People, let me tell you about my best friend. He's a warm-hearted person who loves me till the end. People, let me tell you about my best friend. He's a one Good morning, Tigers. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Kiana, here with your ISPN update. Listen up, seniors. If you participated in Irving All Sports Association playing any sport, you may apply for one of their scholarships. They have scholarships in the amounts of $500, $750, and $1,000. Pick up an application in the counseling office. Deadline to apply is March 26. On Wednesday, a special dedication ceremony was held on Tiger Field to rename it Lear Field after our longtime community and Irving supporters, Dick and Jolene Lear. Athletic Director Coach Clint Roddy welcomed the Lear family and all of the guests. Dr. Pryor gave a superintendent's address, and former head football coach and Irving High Athletic Director Coach Jim Bennett gave the dedication speech. The crowd also heard from members of the family of the Lear family, Miss Jolene Lear and their son Kevin Lear. Also adding to the festive Irving High spirit, our cheerleaders Tiger Fever, Tiger Guard, Tiger Jazz, and KRV were there covering the event. Congratulations to the Lear family and thank you for all the support over the years. In water polo news, our team will be traveling to Rockwall tomorrow for a tournament. Our softball girls hosted their first district home game against Dallas Skyline on Tuesday. The JV team lost in a back and forth battle 9-6. Varsity defeated Skyline in three innings, winning 19-0. Winning pitcher was Rayleigh Garza and over half the team had at least one run batted in. Please congratulate these ladies on an amazing district opener win. The Lady Tigers will be traveling to North Crowley for a three-day tournament and will face off against MacArthur next Tuesday here at the Lady Tigers softball field during spring break, so make sure to come out and support. Our baseball team is also competing in a three-day tournament with Varsity winning both their games yesterday, beating Garland 2-0 and Bowie 10-0. The boys are off to a great start. They play tonight in the finals of the winner's bracket and will play again tomorrow. Please congratulate the boys if you get a chance. In soccer news, our girls played Tuesday against Turner and came up short, but are determined to redeem themselves tonight as they play Nimitz here at home with JV beginning at 6 and Varsity at 7.30. Our boys also played Tuesday against R.O. Turner, winning 5-2, with Gerber, Davey, and Markel all scoring one goal each, and German scoring two. Our boys will travel away to play Nimitz tonight with JV beginning at 6 and Varsity at 7.30. Both soccer teams will be playing Tuesday over spring break. Boys will play here for their senior night, and the girls will play 
away against W.T. White. That's all the sports news we have for you today. I'm Kiana. And I'm Jasmine. Have a great day, Tigers, and have a safe spring break.